Episode, Layla and Tilda began to penetrate the mysteries of darkness and light. Meanwhile, Farad frees Rashid from the dangers of the Crystal Sharaman. But when Farad faces an important test to become the new keeper of the arcane powers, he fails and is left alone with his misery in the desert. Farad! They sent you because no one else has the guts to tell me the truth. What do you mean? I've failed all of you and no one has any faith left in Is me. Is that what you're worried about? Nobody thinks that way at all. That's ridiculous. We have complete faith in you, Farad. Well, I don't know why you would, considering I haven't been able to find any water. Me, born and raised in the desert. Well then, why do you think wallowing in self-pity will get you anywhere? We're at the precipice of a great mystery, and to solve it, we must be united and work as a team. No one has forgotten what you've accomplished, Farad. You've defeated the evil Ego Khan and recovered the magic crystal for us. What good did it do? Take a look. Nothing. Maybe it's a test of some kind. I'm starting to see things a little more clearly. I think I know what you mean. Hmm. Like this sand, for example. I never noticed how warm and soft it feels on my fingers. So pure and beautiful. Boric, huh? got a nice hot bowl of boric right here. You can overcome any problem that you face with a hot bowl of boric in your belly. Great hot sands of Nairobi, we've stumbled into quite the romantic interlude. You love birds. Oh, the scenery around here does have a way of sending young hearts aflutter. Can't blame you. <laughs> There's plenty to go around. I couldn't get Tilda to even try it. The poor girl's got her hands full with Rashid. She could probably use my help. <laughs> that lovebird flew the coop. If you want to remain a champion, my boy, you have to sacrifice and forget about the women. I learned that from my polo teacher. Since when did you play polo? When I was his age, and I was pretty good, too. But I couldn't stop thinking about women, so I gave it up. Like this sand, for example. I never noticed how warm and soft it feels on my fingers. So pure and beautiful. She has a way of making me see things in a new light. Why not? 
not? What else could go wrong? The trouble with you humans is that you don't know how to handle a little heat. Watch me! And the trouble with scorpions is that they seldom know how to handle anything. Look after her, will you? of the Keepers say that the Sharaman and the Namarash were servants of the Sands who ruled over the desert? Correct, absolutely right. I'd like to try an experiment. What do you have in mind? Sand, pure sand. No, Barat! Don't just throw it, scatter the sand on the mirrors. Well, what's left of the mirrors anyway? Really good thinking there, Farat. It was only good luck. And you're our good luck. Well, what are you waiting for? Pick it up. She's right. Help yourself to the Shireman. So now, what's your next mm -hmm. move? We must return to Silvermoor. Perhaps the dust of the Sharaman will help us discover the secret of the Black Hole. And maybe let us help your father. Did anyone ever tell you you're magnificent, wonderful, fantastic, Farat? <laughs> oh. Maybe somebody did. Mm, Tabachi, be careful! <laughs> An emergency, Tilda. Mm -hmm. Farah, what are you doing in here? We need to change the plan. Oh no! You said you were going back to Silvermore, and we were going to help my father. Now all of a sudden we're changing plans. Sorry, but you have to hear me out. I just had a nightmare in which I saw Tabaji. Tabaji? My friend from Australia. Tabaji is able to communicate through dreams, and in my nightmare he was spinning around in a black <gasps> hole. I'm convinced that he's in uh... some kind of danger. And you believe he sent you this message in a dream? Yes. Mm. I know that you're worried about your father, and you have every right to tell me to go back to bed and forget about the whole thing. We better get moving if we have any hope of finding your friend. Hmm. Come on! Isn't there any way you can get us there faster? Oh, Sands! I'm giving it all I've got! Of course it would be a lot easier for me if it were just the four of you on my back, but a certain portly passenger in the tail okay. section is slowing me down. Down there's Australia! Huh? The only problem now is how do we find Tabaji? Australia's a large continent and he could be anywhere down there. Maybe there was a clue in your dream. You said Tabaji was spinning into a black hole, but images and dreams are usually symbolic. Excuse me, Tilda. I'd like to borrow your koala computer for a second. I've got it. It's 
someone is spinning, then at times they must be upside down. And there's a town nearby called Helter Skelter, which means upside, upside down. down. That's got to be where we'll find him. Prepare to land. You were right. When we work as a team, we can solve any mystery. We just couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Nick of time. If I have to carry a passenger of that size again, I'll have to make a bigger potion. Now listen, you <laughs> little... Helter Skelter's a tiny village. It shouldn't be hard to track down your friend in a place like this. And despite the name, it somehow looks normal. Hey, we have to find Tabaji. Looks like any small town. Sure about that? Yes, of course. There's no one here but skeletons. This is bizarre. Maybe a little too bizarre. It's giving me the creeps. And here I thought I was too skinny. Keep it down or they'll see us. Stop worrying, Rashid. We're well out of sight. You folks must be new in town. Beautiful day, <laughs> huh? <laughs> Get a whiff of that fresh air. <laughs> well, at least they seem friendly. Without any lips to cover their teeth, all skeletons mm. appear to be smiling. That doesn't mean they're friendly. Your skeleton's on the outside, too, you know. I hope this doesn't mean we won't find Tabaji. They all seem to be coming from that direction. Let's go check it out. Wings, we'll need you to transform for us. I'm sorry, but after that last transformation, I don't have anything left in the tank. I think my 853-year-old carcass is finally catching up with me. Not to worry. I may have just come up with a solution. <laughs> Think of it like a puzzle that needs to be assembled. <laughs> One of my older contraptions. It used to be a weapon, but I've modified it. Not a sports car, but I won't say a word. After you. <laughs> Hi. I don't think this car would pass inspection. Maybe not, but we'll obey the traffic laws. Oh, hot sands! I'm a prisoner in a tank built by the tubby tinker who nearly broke my back! Nothing here at all! <gasps> Farad, look! Oh. I wonder what's wrong with them. Hit the brake! <laughs> That's positively horrible! What I can't figure out is why the black hole hasn't put us in a trance like it has them. I believe it depends upon the rate of exposure. We only just got here, and we have huh? something these unfortunate souls don't. This. Yes, of course, the Charmin. 
Huh? That looks like Tabachi. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh. Tabachi, stop! Don't go in there! my old friend. No, son. Where do you think you're going? These people you see before you are friends. Huh? There's a less subtle way to counteract an incantation. Uh, uh. Let's get him out of here. Here, I'll help you. Listen, Wings, we need you to come up with a potion that'll break Tabaji's trance and bring him back. That could be dangerous. This Australian desert is filled with challenges. I think this is the right combination. These plants ought to do the trick, but to make certain, I'll need a guinea pig. <laughs> It's a connecting rod! Oh, 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 I vault and pirouette like the graceful little creature I am. Each delicate move is a symphony of daintiness. La la la, la 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he needs ballet slippers. Give me a second, I'll fix him. <laughs> that didn't quite work. He obviously needs an adjustment. <laughs> Oh, oh, bad wings! I'm being punished! Yes, of course, that must be it. I'm being punished for my heinous crimes against humanity. Oh, please forgive me! I humble myself before you and will do anything you ask, anything at all! Yes, yes, but all is forgiven now. Why don't you go back under the hood? Okay, as you wish. That will be my penance. I've done it! I've made my potion! I will work my fingers to the bone until the misery these hands have caused is cleansed by rigorous oh, manual for labor. Oh, sake, will I'll somebody shut him up? trailers, SUVs, sports cars, bicycles... <laughs> ah, thank you kindly, Ben. Farat, my friend. Tilda. Welcome back to the land of the living. But what are you doing here? You summoned me in a dream, remember? You must. And him? Why is this wicked man with you? Calm down. Let's just say he finally came to his senses. That man lost all the sense he ever had. Now I remember. I was trying to save a lost kangaroo when I felt a shiver down my spine. The sky darkened, and suddenly there appeared a kind of... A black hole. Mm-hmm. And the skeletons? What skeletons? Double G. Hmm? Double G. Look like you've seen a ghost. I'm your Uncle Ranu. My Uncle Ranu? Of course. <laughs> your uncle's a skeleton? My Uncle Ron, who died 15 years ago. I've been looking for you for ages. It seems like you never come visit me anymore. You have me worried. You don't seem happy to see me, my boy. Then again, you don't look too healthy with all that hair and flesh all over you. So, are you going to introduce me to your friends? Come to think of it, they don't look huh? too healthy either. Nonetheless, I'm happy to see all of you. For some strange reason, I got lost on the walk back to my house. That's okay, we'll help you. Hello, everyone! I'm back in town! Good morning, dear Amanda. It's 
Still walking that dog, huh, Steve? <laughs> they seem to recognize him. Oh, my wife will be so happy to see us. My dear, we have visitors. Ah, Tabaji, my angel. Give your auntie a great big hug. Oh. Uh, uh. Don't hug too tightly, dear. I've got old bones, you know. It's about time you came to visit. Your friends sure look thirsty. Come on in. For ya. Ugh. Ugh, this stuff is rotten. Long life and good friends. Ah. Ah. Delicious. That really filled in the cracks. <laughs> now, how about you and your friends coming uh? with us to the party at Skull Creek? That's really kind of you, Uncle, but I think we've imposed on you long enough. No, 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 no. We insist. Everybody's gonna be there. Listen, Mayor Stone, Grandpa William, Grandma Annabella, Uncle Nino... And unfortunately, they all died years ago. You never know. You girls might meet someone interesting. That's very possible. But we have to do something about the boy. You can't go to this party dressed in a getup like that. The invitation makes it pretty clear. They want no meat on your uh, bones. Uh. Okay, it's settled. Let's go get you kids a nice spit and pop. This isn't the most fantastic place you've ever seen. So what are these? Those happen to be gigantic huh? anthills. And inside them live millions and millions of horrible green ants. If I remember correctly, aren't they exceptionally aggressive and carnivorous? You do remember correctly. And these particular carnivorous ants simply adore white meat. That's not good. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Thank you for choosing Resort D Decay, the only beauty farm in the world that caters to you in the hereafter. Uh, Let's go, uh, dear. Uh, this way, sir. Uh, have a look. Uh, no, uh, I don't like the service. Uh, I wish to make uh, a complaint. Come now, sir. This is the best spot in town, and if it's the price you're worried about, we have a group rate. Discounts. Discount. Everybody wants a discount nowadays. Huh? Certainly this gentleman will need uh, special attention. Uh, I recommend the complete deluxe uh -huh. treatment. Give him the words. Uh, complete treatment? What does that mean? Comes as a surprise to you, does it? Indeed. Think of it as the ultimate one-time-only weight loss program. And guess what? For you, it's permanent. 